welcome back to Unique Mobility. So today we're gonna to put together my test battery pack and install it in my 1982 UM Electric. Now I went around the past couple of weeks and collected a whole bunch of old car batteries and I've assembled a bunch of them now. So I'm gonna to put together eight of the best ones. Today we're gonna to test them, we'll put together the pack and then we'll install it in the car. First thing we gotta do, test the batteries. Okay, so I've got all my old car batteries here and I've got a battery tester. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test to see how much current each battery can draw. I'm not concerned about the overall capacity of these batteries. I'm really just concerned about when I put a big load on them, is the voltage gonna hold or is the voltage gonna plummet down and it's gonna uh, be useless for testing. Okay, these things are super easy to use. So all I'm gonna do is clip it on a positive and negative. I'm gonna enter, we're gonna say out of vehicle. And we're just gonna say this is a regular flooded. We want cold cranking amps. Uh, we'll just go with 695. So we got 651 amps, so that's a good. So I'll just write that on here. So awesome, I've got enough batteries now in good condition to assemble my test battery pack. So I have to decide where I want to put these batteries. Originally, each one of these compartments had four batteries and they fit in real snug. I'm only gonna use eight batteries total, so half as many batteries, but I'm using the 12 volt car batteries, which are larger. And also, I've got all sorts of different ones. All right, these are the original battery cables that I got with the car. So, it's interesting, some of them have these flat type lugs while well, some of them have the cr uh, clamp style but uh, I'm gonna clean these up because I hate I hate installing dirty parts all right I got my wires cleaned up I've got a bunch of these terminal uh, connectors that I got off Amazon so I'm gonna go ahead and start wiring up the batteries one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little anti-seize on all of the battery terminals uh, just to ensure good connection. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean them all first too. I 
I was just working too fast, I think, and uh, screwed up and I shorted out my tool against the batteries. We were probably close to uh, like 80 volts or something like that. So I'm just gonna slow down and take it easy. And I'll probably put the trickle charger on here. Check out what it did to the tool. We're all wired up. It's the moment of truth. We need 96 volts. What are we gonna get? Can I do this one-handed? No. Nope. We got it, 100 volts. Awesome, 101 volts. All right, we've got it installed. Uh, the test battery's now in the car. Uh, man, that was a lot more work than I thought. I can't believe how hard it would be with the full weight, 1,000 pound battery with all 16, six volts in there. It must just be, it must be a two person job or three at minimum. Also, this uh, surface on here is probably not as slick as it was when it was brand new. But it's in the car, uh, it's ready to go, I'm gonna, Turn the car around today, uh, put the sled away, but I think, I think I'm about done for today. That was a lot of work. Um, <laughs> could you imagine if you bought a Tesla brand new and they said you had to do that every like once a year and maintain your battery? Mm -hmm. 